I always forget, is it greatest common factor or least common factor? And then is it least common multiple or greatest common multiple? It's really hard to keep all these acronyms straight, isn't it? Welcome to Anywhere Math, I'm Jeff Jacobson, and today we're going to add another acronym to the list, the LCM or Least Common Multiple. Today we're talking about the Least Common Multiple, or better known as the LCM. Uh, so basically, just like Greatest Common Factor, the name kind of gives it away. The LCM is just the least of the common multiples. You got to remember that, we're talking about multiples here, not factors. Uh, between two or more numbers. There are multiple ways to find the LCM of two or more numbers. The first one we're going to talk about is doing it by listing multiples. So first example, find the least common multiple of four and six, and we're going to do it by listing multiples. When you think multiples, think multiply. So first, what are the multiples of four, or what are some of them? Uh, well, 4 times 1 is 4. Always going to start out with that. Uh, 4 times 2 is 8. Then 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, uh, 32, and so on. Right? We could keep going on forever. Next, for 6. 6 times 1 is 6. Then 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, and that's going to keep going on forever. Now, we want the least common multiple. We've listed the multiples. That's the first step. Second step is to find the ones that are in common. So let's find them. Let's circle them. Well, 4 and 8, no, but there's a 12 in both. So that's in common. I'm going to circle that. 16, no, 18, no, 20, no, 24, also in common. Uh, and then if I keep looking, there's nothing. If I would have gone one more here for 36, that also would have been in common. Uh, but finally, now it's time. What is the least of the common multiples? Well, some common multiples are 12 and 24 and then 36. But the least is 12. So the LCM, or least common multiple of 4 and 6 is 12. Let's try another problem very similar to this. All right, let's look at another problem. So we're still finding the LCM by listing multiples, uh, but I'm going to show you a little shortcut, and if you understand it, it can save you a lot of time. So the problem, find the LCM of 6 and 14. Now you know that the LCM has to be a common multiple of both numbers. So we can use that information to our advantage and think, well, 14 is the greatest of these numbers. Would it be even possible to have a common multiple less than 14? And the answer is no, right? Because your first multiple for 14 is 14. So what you do is start listing the multiples of your greatest number, which is 14 in this case. So I'm going to start listing multiples of 14 because I know it would be impossible for the LCM to be anything less than that. Uh, so first one is 14, then 28, then 42, and keeps going. And I'm just going to check, are any of these a common multiple with 6? 14 isn't, 28 isn't, but 42 is. So I know that has to be my least common multiple because these two didn't work, but 42 does. And it has to be common with both. So if it's common here, then we're good. So my LCM of 6 and 14 is 42. And if you're not quite convinced, we could still list out all the multiples of 6, or until we get up to 42, so 6, 12, 
18, 24, 30, 36, 42. And notice there's no way 6 or 12 could work because they're less, right? That's what I mentioned. So those are gone immediately. Four, or 18, no. 24, no. 30, no. 36, no. 42. Okay? So it's very similar to just listing them out, but if you understand the shortcut, it can be a lot quicker. For example, two, we're going to find the LCM by prime factorization. Uh, so the first one, find the LCM of 16 and 20. So first step is to find the prime factorization of 16 and 20. And if you want to pause the video, go ahead and do that on your own. So the prime factorization of 16, uh, we could do a factor tree, uh, but I'm going to skip that. Um, it's just basically 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 uh, times 2 is 16. Uh, and we can simplify that too. So I'm going to make that an equals as well. Uh, 2 to the 4th power. Okay. For 20, the prime factorization is going to be 2 times 2, which is 4, times 5, which is 20. And I can simplify that to 2 squared times 5. So those are my two prime factorizations. Now, from here, to find your least common multiple, all you have to do is circle any unique factors. Um, so right here, 5 is unique. It's the only one there. So I'm going to circle 5. And then you also circle, if you have common factors between, common prime factors between both numbers, like we do here, 2 and 2, uh, circle the one with the greatest power or the greatest exponent, right? So in this case, I'm not going to circle the 2 squared. I'm going to circle the 2 to the 4th. And then all I'm going to do is multiply those together to get my least common multiple. So the least common multiple would then be 2 to the 4th times 5. 2 to the 4th is 16. I already know what that is, right? 16 times 5, which is 80. So my LCM of 16 and 20 is 80. Now, You've learned two ways to find the least common multiple. We can list multiples or we can find it using prime factorization. Either one will work. Um, you also have the shortcut. Keep, keep that in mind. But there's definitely situations where one might be better than the other. If your numbers are kind of small, they're, they're not big numbers like these, listing factors can be, or sorry, listing multiples can be very quick and easy. But if you have larger numbers, like 16 or 20, or you have three or four numbers, you don't really want to start listing out all these multiples. It's going to take a long time. So as kind of a hint, uh, you might want to write that down. When you have larger numbers, it's good to use prime factorization. So maybe make a little note to yourself. Good to use with larger numbers. Okay. Uh, just a little hint, and I think that'll help out a lot. Okay. Here's some problems to try on your own. Good luck. All right, here's the last example for today. Find the LCM of three numbers this time. So we're going to find the least common multiple of 4, 15, and 18. If you remember that hint I just mentioned, when you've got a lot of numbers, Sometimes it's going to save you a lot of time to use prime factorization. So in this case, that's what we're going to do instead of listing out the multiples. Uh, so real quick, again, if you want to pause the video and practice your prime factorization skills, go for it. Go ahead and pause it. Uh, here we go, though. So prime factorization of, of 2 is just 2 squared. Prime factorization of 15 is going to be 3 times 5. Those are both prime numbers. Prime factorization of 18. Uh, well, 
2 times 9 is 18, but we can write 9 as 3 squared. So 2 times 3 squared. Here's my prime factorization. If you remember from this step, any unique uh, prime factors, you're going to circle. If it's the only one there, you're going to circle it. So notice 5 is unique. It's the only 5 there. I'm going to circle that. But then when you've got common prime factors, like we've got 2 uh, for the 4 and the 18, and we also have 3 here, circle the 1 with the greatest power or the greatest exponent. So I'm going to circle the 2 squared instead of the 2, and I'm going to circle the 3 squared here instead of the 3. My last step is just to multiply those together, those things that I circled together. So I've got... Uh, so I'll say LCM equals 2 squared times 3 squared times 5. That's going to be 4 times 9 times 5. 4 times 9 is 36, and 36 times 5 is 180, I believe. Let's see, 36 times 5 is 150. Yes, 180. So my least common multiple of 4, 15, and 18 is 180. Here's some problems to try on your own. Thanks for watching this video, and if you liked it, please subscribe.